I'll try to talk about nonverbal communication today and continuing on what I was uh, uh, talking about on March 27 a couple of days ago and it's about uh, the food um, uh, I put downstairs for uh, the cats that are in the neighborhood and um, and how try to do something nice for them and uh, so in general in my life I'm not a very uh, there have not been many occasions where I have to care about someone for uh, long period of time anyway oh, oh yes I forgot to mention so there was a book at uh, on nonverbal communication by a UCLA professor I was trying to buy I did not try very hard um, I didn't order it from Amazon <laughs> I tried to find it I couldn't find it here so I didn't order it from Amazon so the, this issue with the cats has been bothering me and uh, the question I have been thinking a lot about is what is an appropriate time to uh, put the bowl of food in the bowl of water um, so for example I could pick an exact a precise time every day and do that which makes sense but this raises the question of how do cats measure time they don't have a clock, they, what do they do? Um, yeah, so an interesting question here is like, do they measure time as we do or it's different for them? But anyway, so they don't measure time and um, even if I do it ex at exact, an exact time, the ex exactly the same time every day, it's not uh, which would bother me to do that because I have to do significantly change my schedule every day to think that I have to do this every day at this particular time and I'm not gonna be happy with it it's not clear if they are gonna appreciate it a lot so approximately sometime makes sense to me on the other on the other on the other hand I don't know yes so on the other hand um So the cats here are not, it's not just one cat eating the food, I think there are many and they are sharing and uh, which raises also the parenthesis question of how do they decide on which cat goes every day, so do they have weeks? W week is a very artificial human specific concept I think um, I was reading a book uh, by a guy called Schotter at N, uh, NYU who's uh, discussing a possible explanation for the evolution of the weak in human society so probably cats don't have weeks or maybe they have synchronized with humans and they also understand the concept of a week it's not, it's not clear And um, so suppose that you are one of those cats and you're t scheduled on Monday to go eat a bowl of food and drink some water. Uh, and I am late and uh, she or he is hungry waiting for me to bring the food and I miss place the time I go there, how does that work? So I don't want the cats to be frustrated by this. So it's not at all clear what to do. So a couple of days ago as I was walking back from the cafe I work I had 
slightly, although I'm converging to a schedule, it's been changing so that they had like shifted a bit. And I noticed that there were uh, three cards on the root. It seems like they were waiting for me, but it's not clear, of course. But so the I, I, what I felt, which this is important, that moment is like don't forget us, because the other day I had forgotten completely to to do it. So I, I felt like don't forget us. So that was a reminder for me to go and like actually don't forget to, to put the ball in the balls. And which made me like keep thinking about the, the same questions. So, continuously and so today something very interesting happened as I was walking back the same route uh, there were a couple of dogs but two uh, houses that are next to each other that were barking both of them so this is a signaling system for the neighborhood um, I recall like a few months back when I started using that route um, they were also barking uh, probably pointing out that I'm a new event in the neighborhood so they were kind of like sounding an alert, alarm, I'm not sure for a long period of time I hadn't noticed any such barking so which means that they got used to me probably and today they did that again uh, at the exact same location, the cats were the other day, around the same time. So the important thing here is that it solves all these questions I have been wondering and pondering and uh, thinking about what is the right thing to do. The dogs notified the cats or the cat that was waiting. He is coming. So she doesn't have to hurt her stomach waiting for the food like that made it make sense as an explanation so maybe behavioral scientists can try to actually measure or maybe they have done it all that without doubt they have such sophisticated anyway maybe they do I don't know <laughs> But it's, a, it's very sophisticated thinking, right? The communication between cats and dogs who are supposed to be enemies or whatever. They fight like cat and dog. There's a great expression like that. It's not... Okay. 